G'day guys. Today I've got a brand new strategy submitted by one of you. This strategy was submitted by the Roulette Grinder and I've been using it the last couple of weeks to pretty dramatic success. Now in his comment, he does recommend only using flat betting with this strategy. However, in my experimentation, I think I've worked out something that makes the strategy just even better. But if you guys have any recommendations, suggestions for improvements, or even a strategy of your own, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll read it. And if I really like it, I might even make a video on it. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to place my bets according to the comments and then I'm going to talk about some of the modifications and some of the variations that I use that I think make this strategy just that little bit better. Basically in order to start, the first thing we need to decide is what our betting unit is going to be. Now for me, if you have a look down here, I've got a $300 bankroll. So with strategies like this where we cover a lot of numbers, I don't mind actually betting a little bit higher because I'm more likely to actually get a win more often and then actually recoup a majority of my losses. So for me, I'm gonna go with a betting unit of $5. So the way that he says you want to bet is you want to place two double street bets with three units each on these two double streets like this. And then you want to place a corner bet with two units on each bet on these two corners here and then on this middle corner as well. And then after that, we're also going to place three split bets with one unit each, one here, one here and one here. So you can kind of see this is sort of a variation of the five st double street strategy, but it's it's placed a little bit better. Rather than skipping one street, it skips these 0, 7, 14, 15, 24, 23, and 28. So there's seven wax total on European roulette, or there's eight wax on American, which is why always try and go European if you can. But we're gonna start like this, and we're just gonna do with the first bet, and I'll show you what I mean. So with this, you can see we cover 81% of the board, and hopefully whenever we win, so there's a win there, we actually get a win of three units. So in my case, that's a win of $15. Now, when you're placing these bets, this is the first thing I do just personally to make it a little bit easier. What I do is I place my bets like this. So I place two double streets like that. And then I set this as a double street because if we're placing a corner and then a split as well, it's essentially just a double street bet. So it's a little bit easier and you know, you require fewer chips and less finagling. But then I do the same here with a split there, split there, and then on the corners as well. So the other thing I like to do with this strategy is he recommends flat betting. So for me, I, I never really like strategies that flat bet because I find it boring just sitting there betting and betting and betting but there's, there's a little variation I do. So you can see here, we've won twice in a what? Twice in a row, not twice in a row. <laughs> so what I do is I generally go in cycles of three. So this will be my third spin, and that means this is my first cycle. So I'm gonna place my bet once more. I'm gonna place it like that, not, a, not up there, sorry. One, two, three, one, two, one. Not on there, we're gonna delete that. This is annoying, one, two, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, one, two, three. So this is my third spin of the cycle. Now, depending on how I go, I generally move up or down a cycle where I add one more unit to the bet. So I'm gonna bet this one and I'm gonna go again and I'll show you how I would bet. So we get a 34, that's another win. So on cases where we have three wins in a row, we go back one cycle, or in my case where I'm on the first cycle, we stay on the first cycle. So I'm because I'm on the first cycle, I can just rebet and just keep spinning. So I'm just gonna keep rebetting and spinning and we're gonna watch how we go. So here we go, come on. 32, that's another win. So this is the start of the second cycle. That's the first spin of the second cycle. So we're gonna keep going and if we lose this cycle, then we go to the next progression. We'll go to the next step. That's another win there on that 20, is it 22? Yes, there it is. I can't see it with the little hitter on it. I can't remember, what do they What do they call that hitter? I, they, I know that it's got a proper name, but I just can't remember. So that's our third win again. We're just staying on the first cycle and you see why this works. This is essentially what he recommends is the flat betting. But because of the way that we iterate is here we go. So here's our first loss. 
If you ever get a loss during these three cycles, we stop that cycle immediately and we go to the next cycle. So for me, I go to the next cycle and whenever you go up a cycle, we increase our bet by one unit. So the first cycle is one unit, the second cycle is two units, the third cycle is three units, and you can see, you continue this all the way up to your fifth cycle for a max bet of a five unit bet. So that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm betting two units here. It means I'm betting two units as my base unit bet. So I'm essentially doubling this bet here. So this, instead of becoming 15, goes to 30. This becomes the 20, this becomes a 10 unit bet. We bring this one to 30, we bring this one to a, not that one, sorry, undo that bet. We put this one there, we bring that to a 10, we bring that to a 20, and we bring this one to a 30. So you can see now I've used a 10 unit or $10 bet as my base unit. So I've essentially doubled it here. If we were to lose again, we'd go up one more. So that would be, you know, $45 here and $30 there. But we get the win, so we continue this cycle. So we're gonna get three wins, three wins in a row. That's a tongue twister if you say it fast enough. And once we get those three wins, we go back to that first cycle. We step back one cycle. So there's another win. We go one more, come on, come on, cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. Boom, there we go, there's our third win. So we go back to the first cycle. And this is what I mean. This is why I don't mind betting those higher bets on these, you know, on these types of strategies that cover lots of numbers. While it does increase my chance of having a big loss because I cover so many numbers, my chance of having a number of losses in a row and wiping myself out is much slimmer. I generally only play these strategies for a short time anyway. So we're back to the first cycle and we're just gonna keep betting. So this is really where the money comes. You know, we've we've managed to go up that cycle. We've recouped some of our losses, not all of our losses, but some of our losses. That's another hit there. And the third spin of the cycle, cross our fingers. Boom, there we go. So you can see now at this point, we're now $75 up. Even if we were to lose the next cycle and then go into the next progression, we would actually only lose the money that we've been playing with, only the money that we've won so far. So we're always in the profit. So here we go, boom, there's another lot, and we keep going. And at this point, you could think about walking away because you could have a look. If you see down here, that's another win. Yes, baby. We've already got $480. We started on 300, so we've nearly gained a, we've gained a profit of 180, nearly $200, which in the six or seven minutes that I have been playing is pretty ridiculous. But I'm just gonna keep going, I'm just gonna keep going. So that's our third, That's that we start the next cycle and we go again. This is the first spin of the next cycle. Always play in these cycles of three. Never try and, you know, skip or if you include an extra cycle that completely changes the odds on how often you're going to win, because if you include another bet, then you have to win four in a row and it's much less likely to happen. Even though, even though this is a likely bet, getting four in a row is much more less likely than three in a row. That's why we go with these three, three bet cycles, because Hopefully with those, we have actually over a 50% chance of winning three units in a row. Otherwise we start, you know, progressing into infinity and we, we get to a point where, where our bets are massive and we have no method of coming back down the cycles. So here we go. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. If we win this one, 11, I believe that's what, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's our, that's our corner bet. Look at that. One more, actually, one more. Because if we win, we'll go two more. Because if we can double our money, I think this guy, this will prove to you. Oh, a zero. So we stop. We stop. We go back. We go back. We go back to the next cycle. So that's doubling. So I'm just going to go back. And because it is actually doubling, it's not going to let me now that I've pressed something. So I'll go back 30, 20, 10, 30, 10, 20, 30. So now we start the next cycle. This is the first spin. We get the four, that's the first win. And we go again. It'll let me go, there we go. So unfortunately, you know, we did lose a bit of our profit there, but because now we're increasing our bet size, we're gonna get more money back on, on our wins. So very quickly, we get back to our, have a look down here in the left, when we get the wins, we're at a profit of 585. So we go back, we go start on the first cycle, and we go bang, bang, bang. 20, that's not a 20, we need to undo that one. We bring that one to a 15, not that one, boof, 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 boof. 
I always confuse those two. I always accidentally put my corner bet there. So be careful when you're placing these. And we go this one. And we cross our fingers. And one. That's it. We just doubled our money in 10 minutes. I want to thank the commenter for suggesting this strategy. It's, it's done me amazingly and I hope that it does you guys amazingly in the future. If you guys do want to try it out, please make sure that you're trying it out on a European wheel. These always have better odds than the American wheels simply because there's only half the amount of zeros. If you're like me and you live somewhere where they don't actually offer European wheels, then I highly recommend 7-Bit Casino. That's, that's why I play here, that's why I don't go to in-person casinos because they only offer American. And if if I'm going to use my money, I want to play how I want to play. So it's completely up to you guys though. If you do use this strategy, please let me know how you guys find it. Please let me know if you guys get a win. And other than that, I hope to see you guys in the future. Cheers for watching guys. Thanks.